Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum and very good day to our viewers Today, my team and I will present on our community service awareness on Dengi Campaign Alert 2022 Before I proceed, I will introduce myself My name is Azrin Azizi And my follow click that bringing this campaign to a success First is Mr. Zabri Zaini Second, Mr. Ahmad Usni Third, Mr. Muhammad Hafiz And fourth Mr. Mohamad Shaki. Without wasting any time, let's start. The incident of dengue has grown dramatically around the world in the recent decades. A vast majority of cases are asymptomatic and self-managed. Hence, the actual number of dengue cases are underreported. Many cases are also misdiagnosed as other fabric illnesses. So what is exactly dengue? Dengue is a mosquito-borne viral diseases that has rapidly spread to a few regions. Dengue fever is most common in Southeast Asia, the Western Pacific Island, Latin America, and Africa. But the diseases has been spreading to a new areas, including local outbreaks in Europe and southern part of the United States. Dengue viruses is transmitted by female mosquitoes, mainly of the species Aedes aegypti, and to a lesser extent, Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes are also vectors of chikungunya, yellow fever, and Zika viruses. The infection is usually mild and passes after about one week without any causing of any lasting problems. But in rare cases, it can be very serious and potentially life-threatening. The number of dengue cases reported to World Health Organization increased over eight fold over the last two decades from 500,000 cases in 2000 to over 2.4 million in 2010 and 5.2 million in 2019. Reported deaths between the year 2000 and 2015 increased from 960 to 4,032 cases affecting mostly younger age group. The total numbers of cases seemingly decreased during the year 2020 and 2021 as well as for reported days. Researchers are working on dengue fever vaccine. For now, in areas where dengue fever is common, the best way to prevent infection are to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes and take steps to reduce the mosquito population. There is no specific treatment or widely available vaccine for the dengue, so it's important to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes when visiting an area where the infection is being found. So, I will pass to the next presenter. Next, the dengue life cycle. These mosquitoes typically lay eggs near standing water in containers that hold water, like bucket balls, animal dishes, flower pots and vessels. These mosquitoes prefer to bite people and live both indoors and outdoors near people. The first stage is eight. Adult, which is female mosquitoes, lay eggs on the inner walls of containers with water above the waterline. It stick to container walls like glue. They can survive drying out up for eight months. Up to eight months. Mosquitoes, it can even survive a winter. Mosquitoes only need a small amount of water to lay eggs in the bowls, cups, tires, bases, and other containers. Storing water make a great spot. Next stage is pupa. Pupa live in the water an adult mosquito emerge from the pupa and flies away. Next, adult. 
An adult mosquito bites a person. Adult female mosquitoes bite people and animals. Mosquitoes need blood to produce egg. After feeding, the female mosquitoes look for water sources to lay eggs. However, a dengue, a dengue mosquitoes don't fly long distance. In its lifetime, these mosquitoes will only fly within a few blocks. They Sorry. eat prefer to live near and bite people. Because mosquitoes bite people and animals, they can live in or near a home or in a neighboring hood. Next, how does dengue spread? Dengue viruses are spread to people through the bites of infected any species mosquitoes. These are the same types of mosquitoes that spread Zika and Chikungunya viruses. Dengue cannot be spread directly from person to person. However, a person infected and suffering from dengue fever can infect other mosquitoes. In fact, humans are known to carry the infection from one country to another or from one area to another during the stage when the virus circulates and reproduces in the blood system. Viruses also can be affected to a mother. A pregnant woman already infected with dengue can pass the virus to her fetus during pregnancy or around the time of birth. My name is Moshaki and I will explain about our dengue symptom. Right? So many people experience no sign or symptom of a dengue infection. When symptoms do occur, they may, they may be mistaken for other illness such as the flu and uh, usually begin 4 to 10 days after you are bitten by an infected mosquito. So dengue fever cause a high fever almost uh, 40 uh, celsius and maybe uh, 104 fahrenheit and any of the following signs and symptoms such as headache uh, muscle bone or joint pain pain behind the eyes rush which appear two uh, to five days after the onset of a fever a vomit and vomit right so most people recover within a week or so in some cases symptoms worsen and can become a life-threatening this is called severe dengue right so dengue hemorrhage fever or dengue shock syndrome we call it as a dengue shock syndrome right so severe dengue happen when your blood vessel uh, become damaged and leaky and the number of clot forming cell uh, which is our platelet in our body okay so the number of uh, clot forming cell in your, uh, your bloodstream drops this can lead to shock internal bleeding organ failure and even death all right so uh, severe dengue fever can cause internal bleeding and organ damage to our body right so blood pressure can drop to a dangerous uh, level causing a shock in some cases severe deng dengue fever can lead to that sometimes Symptoms are mild and can be mistaken for those of the flu or another viral infection. Younger children and people who had never had the infection before tend to have milder cases than the older children and adults. However, serious problems can develop. People with a weakened 
immune system as well as those with a sequent or subsequent dengue infection are believed to be at greater risk for developing dengue hemorrhagic fever. Uh, doctor can diagnose uh, dengue infection with a blood test to check for the virus or antibody of it. If your beacon see traveling to a tropical area, let your doctor know. This will allow your doctor to evaluate the possibility that your symptom or causes by a dengue infection. Thank you and Assalamualaikum. At the end of July 2021, Malaysia had already reported a total 60,000 dengue cases since the start of the year. Dengue can pose a risk at any time of the year, but the risk increased during the late monsoon seasons. July through August in Peninsula Malaysia and October through February in the East Coast, uh, Sabah and Sarawak. Dengue prevention is vital to mitigating this risk and there are steps we can take both outside and inside our homes to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. The block method is the first and most important dengue prevention step and the aim is to remove any stagnant water in and around the house that may serve as potential breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Here block dengue prevention actions that we can take to keep our homes safe and reduce the risk of contracting dengue. First, B. Break up hardened soil. This will prevent the formation of puddles on the surface of soils that could act as breeding grounds for mosquitoes. L. Leave an, em leave an empty flower pot plates. Leaving stagnant water to sit for too long will give mosquito larva a chance to grow. O. Overturn pails and wipe their rims. Make sure your pails are placed upside down so that they do not collect water. C. Change the water in vessels regularly. Similarly, this will prevent mosquito eggs from hatching or larva from growing. E. Keep roof gutters clear of debris. If your home has gutters, you should ensure that water flow is smooth and unimpeded. Apart. For being connected to the climate change, the rise of the dengue is also linked to the poor level of environmental cleanliness in densely populated metropolitan areas. The onset of the end uncontrolled dengue epidemic may also reflect a failure of the public health system to the respond swiftly and effectively to the threat of the infectious disease emergence. The government is devoted to dengue prevention and control and the dengue agenda is debated as the permanent agenda item in the Cabinet Committee on National Hygiene and Health. Implementing anti-dengue effort such as Dengue Alert 2022 is that yielding result with the dengue cases decreasing by 80%. Campaign like this one should be extended. Community participation in Eddie's breeding ground monitoring and addiction has been shown. The effectively reduce the density of a dengue vector, lowering the risk of the dengue transmission in the region. That is why our group initiated a social media campaign to raise awareness about the dengue virus. The Dengue Alert 2022 is the name we given to this campaign. The goal of this program is to teach uh, knowledge, awareness, and skill for avoiding and controlling the spread of dengue fever. In addition, a segment of the community must be involved in the prevention and the control of a dengue fever. Because large scale of group program are discouraged in the presence of COVID-19 pandemic environment, the social media technique is adopted. As a result, we began this campaign on January 6, 2022. The devotion of the group member to the making this campaign a success is the strength of the campaign. Each utilized social media to persuade the public about the need of preventing and the spread of the Aedes mosquito and the danger of the dengue outbreak. Furthermore, citizen participation is a critical. The public's involvement with the campaign distribution on social media demonstrates that the public understand the value of this effort. There are several flow with this campaign because none of the members of this um, group 
were well known as social media influencer. They were unable to distribute the campaign broadly to guarantee that this campaign reach as many people as possible. We need enough funding for the marketing objective, such as uh, infographic, um, films to entice more people to influence by it. The campaign, however, continue to serve as a starting point for the public understanding of the hazard of Aedes mosquito and the dengue pandemic. If we do not raise awareness about it, um, it will harm the country, social, economic, and several industries. Even though the campaign is still in its early stage, there has been strong public response to it. Among the responses we got, uh, is Pon Zubaida express her appreciation for the information provided. She described his younger brother admission to the intensive care unit or ICU, a wing of the dengue infection. Uh, Mrs. Shazwin further implies the need for dengue prevention and then the COVID-19. By Muhammad um, Ikhwan also told the tragedy of a close cousin who died from a dengue sickness. Such a remark demonstrates how worried our society is about uh, for this pandemic, as well as the rising awareness among others about the significance of the managing and avoiding it. Finally, we hope that this campaign will continue to raise community knowledge about the danger of dengue infection and its consequences as well as to develop a healthy and fit individual to establish a healthy nation. That's all for us. Thank you.